Coming up, we are in Columbus, Ohio, and getting up close and personal with paintings by Pablo Picasso, Claude Monet, and Andy Warhol. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. This is Trey from Midwest Day Trips here in Columbus, Ohio, checking out the Columbus Museum of Art. It's supposed to be some good stuff inside. So grab a paintbrush, come day tripping with us. Welcome to an artistic journey at the Columbus, Ohio Museum of Art, where the brilliance of Andy Warhol, Claude Monet, and Pablo Picasso come to life. We are here on a chilly Sunday morning because this place offers free admission on Sundays looking for some inexpensive family fun. Join us as we explore the stories behind iconic paintings from Warhol's pop art to Monet's dreamy impressions and Picasso's revolutionary cubism. Each canvas holds a tale waiting to unfold. Get ready to immerse yourself in the vibrant hues and profound narratives that grace the halls of this cultural treasure in Columbus, Ohio. This is Brushes with Greatness, exploring Warhol, Monet, and Picasso in Columbus. Let's dive into the world where every stroke tells a story. The museum is on two floors. The upstairs is the classy area where the most priceless of art resides. Downstairs is the whimsical area where a lot of attractions are interactive, and that's where we're heading first. At the Columbus, Ohio Museum of Art, creativity is not just observed, it's cultivated. The museum goes beyond being just a repository of masterpieces. It serves as a dynamic space that actively encourages visitors to unleash their own creative spirits. With interactive exhibits, engaging workshops, and thoughtfully designed spaces, the museum fosters an environment where imagination knows no bounds. Visitors are not mere spectators, but participants in a vibrant dialogue between the past and the present. From curated installations that prompt reflection to hands-on activities that invite artistic expression, the Columbus, Ohio Museum of Art is a beacon inspiring individuals to explore, create, and connect with the transformative power of art. Here's one of those exhibits. They give you a bunch of white Legos and they let you build shapes or whatever you want with them. They encourage you to get creative on your own. So definitely a good mission. Museums, in our opinion, are a great place to take your kids to learn about culture and art, but they don't always give you a lot of options for hands-on experiences. I'm glad that places like this are bucking that trend. Here's one from Grandma Moses. If you don't know about her, she started painting at the age of 78, proving that you're never too old to start a new exciting chapter in your life. And here is a work from a local self-taught artist, Elijah Pierce, depicting the White House during a time of social upheaval and turbulence. The Wonder Room offers inspirational art alongside interactive exhibits in order to inspire the people who visit here. This is courtesy of the museum's Center for Art and Social Engagement, who have taken it upon themselves to tackle complex social issues through the use of art and fellowship. This is an initiative that I can get behind. I love anything that brings people together as opposed to dividing them. Our little day tripper loved the Lego section of the museum. This was his favorite part. We especially love downtown Columbus depicted in Legos in all four seasons of the year.
They also have a place where you can design your own Lego minifig and hang it up. I'm always drawing Ninja Turtles. If you know me personally, it's almost like a cliche at this point. I really like this one. Visitors grab a note card that's blank, except for a few red lines, and they're encouraged to draw something off of those red lines. Some of these were super creative. And here we are heading upstairs. There's so much to take in up there. You could actually skip the entire bottom floor if you wanted to and still get a lot of value in your visit. You know, there always has to be that one guy who makes you question, is this really art? Well, here we have a one hour long video of the artist himself building a fitness corner, which I found interesting yet highly overrated. I'm just kidding. I do find this exhibit to be quite interesting though. There's something very zen about watching him do his thing. The idea of this film having a private screening room just tickles me in a way that's hard to describe. If this exhibit also sold popcorn, it would be perfect. Here's a painting that depicts a real incident that happened in Heron, Illinois, not too far from Carbondale. We're planning on doing a historical video about that in the future. Of course, everyone knows about Norman Rockwell. I don't know about you, but when I start seeing recognizable names at the art museum, I start to get excited. The story of Callie, the photographer, is interesting. Joan Archibald was a photographer who was active starting in the 1960s, and her body of work has only recently been discovered. She was basically an L.A. housewife with a secret artistic passion. She used a lot of groundbreaking techniques to create photographs of a unique caliber.
Exploring the second floor is like stepping into an enchanting realm of artistic brilliance. The curated collection of masterpieces takes the viewer on a visual voyage where every stroke and color narrates a story. The gallery is a symphony of diverse artistic voices. Each canvas commands attention, creating an immersive experience that transcends time and captivates the senses. The second floor becomes a sanctuary where art enthusiasts can lose themselves in the profound beauty of human creativity. So one thing that I take away from these more violent pieces of art is that art and media sort of have a symbiotic relationship. You can't get the full story from either the journalism section or the artistic section. You kind of have to have a little bit of both to get a full picture. And the further away we get from the event, the more art is important and the less journalism is important. Just my personal take. Here's one by Picasso. Definitely surreal to stand amongst greatness. And here's a jigsaw puzzle. We were only planning on stopping for a few minutes, but it actually ended up being a lot more than a few minutes. We were actually joined by another family who helped us complete the puzzle. At this point, we were in it to win it. Might as well finish it after getting this much done. I can't believe that. We just put together like three quarters of that jigsaw puzzle and we had another family join us and help us out. So we were working on that puzzle for almost an hour. Here's a few from Claude Monet. Monet's brilliance radiates through his canvases, capturing the essence of nature with unparalleled mastery. Here's the main attraction for me, an original Andy Warhol. I'm thrilled to witness an Andy Warhol painting, anticipating the iconic pop art and cultural commentary that defines his work, a vibrant fusion of art, society, and innovation. Experience the Columbus Museum of Art, a vibrant showcase of artistic brilliance. From Warhol's pop art to Monet's dreamy impressions, the museum inspires creativity. Dive into a world where masterpieces spark imagination and connect us to the profound beauty of human expression. Your journey awaits. Alrighty, definitely an intellectually stimulating way to spend the day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check back all the time for new content. Take care, everyone.